How about the beef with Cincy you guys got, huh? <laughs> Two Canadians. Yeah, I thought the countrymen wouldn't be I wouldn't be as uh mad at each other. Wicks quote hey. post game when he said I don't even know if he knows I'm Canadian. I'm like, why does that matter? Did he say that? Yeah, he said, I don't know if he even knows I'm Canadian. I'm like, who cares? Like, if you guys are going to fight, I don't think he gives a fuck if you're from Canada or America. I don't think anybody's going out there to fight Rowan Wick. Rowan Wick is like 6'4", 250 pounds of pure muscle. Someone in our locker room said that. They're like, oh, I wouldn't mess with Joey Fowler. I'm like, have you seen Rowan Wick? I'm like, that's like maybe the one guy you don't charge the mound on. I don't think Joe. I don't think Joey's going out there against him. I could be wrong. But also, Joey's got how many years now? 13, 14, 13. He's been around. He's got, what, 2,000 hits and 300 homers and... He deserves all the respect in the world. He's one of my he, favorite players. He's a whole. So you're, you're siding. You're siding with him. That's what I'll heard it here first. Ian Happ signs with Joey Votto in the Reds. Says he will fight Rowan Wick himself if he has to. I understand. I understand being in the box or in the on the mound and being into the at bat and getting a little emotional. I also think Joey's been around a long time and. You have to respect him. Kind of sounds to me, Zach, like he's uh, against his team. Not a good look. I think that is Ian's top five, top you three, guys, top two hitter. So you guys, sh- you guys should have heard me. I was right behind Rowan, going, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right behind him. Like, I'll get him, Joey. I'll get him for you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rowan, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Rowan. I'll, I'll beat your ass. Can you, can you imagine? Can you imagine if somebody on their own team went after? No, hey. That's I heard from my sources. That's what you did. Yeah. Yep. And I'll never sources. reveal my source. No. What? Yeah, you cannot reveal your source. I got multiple. I got sources everywhere. I got Tiger's info that people don't even know about. It's crazy. Who's that? Can't tell you. It's a pitcher. He's tall. He has a mustache. Foles is my inside source. Vado's Vado's gonna hit two thousand games this season. Sixteen seasons. That's insane. Sixteen. Ugh. Oh, fuck, man. That 1,931 games entering today. And How many hits? Uh, 2,044. He's hitting 299 in his career with a 415 OBP. Just a, a, a casual 932 OPS for his career. Just, just nasty. He is. He's been underappreciated. Underappreciated. Is he still scruffle, scuffling a little bit? Yeah, it's early. He was. Scruffling. He was down. He was. He like. Yeah, he came and played the boys. Yeah, when I show seven. Ferrari, show Ferrari. Oh, interesting out of him. Whoa, a lot of money. Really He's rich. Him. He can afford it. He can afford it. What else happened in the baseball world this week that we should talk about? Uh, Aaron Judge has a lot of homers. Aaron Judge is really good. He talk about betting on yourself and just saying, "Yeah, I'll be good. I'll I'll just get an organization to throw every dollar they own at me. It's all good." So, so so many homers, just so many. It's ball so hard. Got homers. Yeah. I think got a lot be, of homers. It's gonna be cool this year. I mean, barring something absolutely dramatic and insane to happen, but both New York teams are gonna be in the playoffs, which is pretty cool. The Yankees are playing good ball. Did you see when Stanton brought a DJ to batting practice? Unbelievable. And they said, so I saw a tweet. It might have been from our friends at Cespedes. Uh, What'd you call him, Hat? Backyard, Backyard barbecue. barbecue. Backyard yeah. barbecue. They said uh, he was doing an interview. He was there, and the uh, I think there's an app for those guys to like have everything transcribed, so you don't have to write it down, whatever. And they said the music was so loud that all of the, like the app just picked up every lyric that was playing and nothing that he was recording from the interview. That is so amazing. I mean, what a move. That's when you know the team's gelling and things are things are moving well when one of the guys goes, hey, I'm going to bring in a live DJ for batting practice, and they just go, yeah, sure, whatever you want. Just put him behind a screen. To have his have his whole setup over there, and we'll be good. That team that team's very good. Very good, playing good baseball. A little, little bit of Cubby vibes over there. I don't want to say, but that's, some of the, that's something that would have happened a couple years ago. That's a cool thing. I was when I saw it, I was way into it. Why don't you do it? Yeah, we should probably do that pretty soon. 
Do DJ something for your team one time. time. Step, Seriously. be a leader. Uh, we did. I don't know if this story has ever been told. One year we were struggling in LA, and uh, somebody rolled down the speaker, the massive boombox speaker, into like all the way down the tunnel, right where the tunnel kind of goes into the dugout. So we were playing music during the game, like a fucking concert in the in the dugout like playing guys walk-ups like as they go to the plate from our own dugout in Dodger Stadium. What? Illegal? No idea. It was unbelievable. I was going to say, it doesn't sound legal. That's fucking awesome is what it sounds like. It was insane. Like right before the game, we had like our party music going and then we're like, we were playing music for guys as they were walking up to the dish. It was an absolute banger of a party in the dugout. Did you guys win? Who cares? Don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They, they had fun, Tom. Yeah. Score was fun to fun. Ooh, nice how I met your mother reference there. Dakota knows. I do. I was gonna say how the I Cubs are basically Chicago Cubs Jr. right now because we have six guys rehabbing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The uh the Cubbies are really scattered right now. Uh we're we're going through it with the injury bug. Got I mean, we got we got Mills starting games. We got Nukem coming out of the pen for him. We got Rucker coming out of the pen for him. And then at the top of the lineup, we got Bodie and Madrigal. So we're we're the Cubs. And, yeah. And you just got Frazier was just there. He just came back. Yeah, he just left. And uh at some point. Frazier, uh, I don't think he's bought spread yet. Just saying. Oh Make sure maybe uh pass a note to him, let him know. We'll have to have a conversation about that. Maybe he'll send maybe he'll send something out for the boys. I'd have forgot. Just saying. That's a little just saying up. we've had this many rehab guys and we've only had two show meals. Two. Newcomb got his right away. Okay. You know why? Because he northeast school. That's why. Grinder school. Newcomb got his like his second day here. I was like, that's how you do it. Just get out of the way. Mills said he's waiting until he leaves. Bodie said he's waiting until he leaves. And, you know, I know these guys, so I mess with them every day. Uh, maybe it was only Newcomb. I don't think anyone else has bought spread yet. Magical hasn't bought any spread? No, he just got here. Like, he's been here two days in Memphis. I mean, I'll give him some time. What? Because he just I, got I, there I, means you guys don't have to eat? I mean, they can get it whenever they want, but. Had you ever had a, have you ever had a random Razor. guy that, like, buys more than one spread? Oh, Jay. Sure. Jay, Jay Hay like every day, bought right? it. Would Jay Hay would buy it is is like as much as possible. Jay Hay got us Ruth Chris when we were in Low A. Both teams. Yeah. Both teams. And that's back when we were like, what? <laughs> What's both this? Both teams. Wow. Der Der Derek Holland team. last year bought both team stuff. Who did? Derek Holland. Hmm. Yeah. Hap, how about this idea Super Mills pro. had? You hopefully never have to do it because you hopefully never get hurt and have to go rehab. Him, he had the idea of him and Bodie taking the whole team to like a dinner and renting a place out and just getting whatever you want and they pay for it. I said, I love that idea. The only hard part is if people have family in town. But that's why he said he would. He was going to try to do it on the road. Yeah, but if people have family in town, they just they just don't, say, go. Yeah. don't go. And that's what I said. I said, I think that's an awesome idea. Yeah, I think that's a pro idea. And that, yeah, and then you get to like really take care of the boys. Mm -hmm. You get to hang out, you know? Yeah, that's super cool. I'm trying to think of if there's anybody um, that bought just like a ridiculous... I think Joe Nathan, when we were in Double A, he was with us for a couple weeks, and I think he bought like many Joe, spreads. It wasn't like Joe every Nathan, day, but it North, was like... Northeast school, weird. Look at these guys, man. Northeast school. Just fine gentlemen, that's all they are. That's yeah. all it is. It's just, you know, it's what they teach. It's a prereq to get into the schools. Are you buying any spreads, Zach? For who? For You're gonna buy me spread when I come, right? Shit. Right. Next question. What's the next topic? <laughs> Dakota. I didn't have anything from this last week. I honestly Dakota said, forgot. Dakota we were made in this Memphis. Whole speech a couple weeks. We ago. were he in Memphis. Like, he was like, "I'm gonna write some stuff down. I'm gonna have topics to talk about. It's gonna listen. be awesome." Listen, this is a four-person podcast. Somebody else could have done it, but 
We are in Memphis. Memphis is absolute mayhem. All bets are off on Memphis on the weekend. We got street racing. We got people dancing on top of cars at 3 a.m. Cops pulling them over, telling them to get off the car. It is mayhem. So if you think I was worried about anything else, you're wrong. Good point. I'm telling you, it was insane. It was 3 a.m. All we hear is engines revving, street racing. Then you look down, and there's people on top of cars. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. Oh, okay. That's good. Hey, don't ask. Just enjoy. Just enjoy it, man. Tom, do you have anything else for us to talk about while Dakota tries to figure out where he is? I do. I, I have a question. People have been asking me in the in the office. So he's coming back. Here we go. He's entered the waiting room, and he's back. Let's hear from Dakota first about what just happened. Dakota? Yeah, I don't know what my, my computer literally just crashed for a second, or it like just like went black. I was like, what? Don't try to tell a horrible excuse of a story about Memphis and then have your computer crash. You're talking. I swear it, it crashed. Tom. People, people in the office want to know, is Tony Rizzo going to make an appearance? You, you've been kind of hinting at it. When people, people are just inquiring. When you come to the John Boy Media office, are you going to bring it? Do you know what I hear, Ian, is they don't care about you. You're not enough. They've seen you, no. been there, done that, used you up. They want Tony Rizzo. <laughs> you know what I can't take is this, like, absurd amount of, like, Yankees love so that, like, Anybody with the it just like they're so pumped up about oh it's Tony gonna come in the office that Jake did this video about Tony I guess he was trying to say that Tony threw a ball off the railing of the dugout bounced it over the netting which makes no sense and into the front the first row and Jake that's, that story is very sketchy Jake told it four separate times in our office and the, the math's just not adding up. I couldn't figure out the physics of it, but Jake tells this story, right? And he filmed it in the office and you just hear Tom in the background. As soon as he says, Anthony Rizzo, Tom's like, Ian said he might bring him to the office. And I'm like, what? you know what guys, why are we so excited? Now I don't want to bring him to the office. Cause Cause I don't No one's going to care about me. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't make that excited voice when they said Ian Happ's coming. No, nobody was like, Oh, Ian, yes. They said again, we just saw yeah. him two months ago. Yeah, so we don't even want that guy in here. He'll just complain about how there's no compound thing anywhere. You got to bring Scotty, too, Ian. Scotty would love to go. Scotty said he would go. I was thinking about bringing Scotty. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask Tony. I can't promise anything. I could probably bet that he won't go. <laughs> I'd say if anything, I'd lean more towards the side of he'll say no. Yeah, I'm trying. I was trying to. I asked him and was trying to convince him to come with me. But usually, like this is how our conversations go. Like we'll be talking about something, we'll be going back and forth, and then I'll send him a text like, "Hey, do you want to go to the John Boy office?" And then it's like crickets. All right. <laughs> Are you guys playing the Yankees or playing the Mets? We're playing the Yanks. Oh. June 9th, tenth. You're 11th. gonna have to just like go to breakfast or lunch with him, and then just force him to get in the car and go with you to. Yeah. I don't think he lives close to the office, though, but maybe he'll come down. The Uber will go there on its own. I I just saw a tweet. Steph Curry re-gripping his golf clubs ahead of the NBA Finals. How great is that? Why wouldn't he? How great is that? He's getting ready for golf season. It's almost golf season for him. Yeah, he's got seven games max left. Yeah, and they get like three off days in between each game, so he might as well just play a little golf. God, that's great, dude. There's no shot he's golfing between games, right? No, no chance. I mean, you tweak the back on a golf swing. How do you, how do you excuse that? Well, if he went low, I, I would excuse him. But I mean, if he's out, if he's out there shooting eighty fives, you can't really, you know. This is something that Zach's gonna puke, and he might watch. He might still watch, but I haven't heard. This is the least I've ever heard about some like big event: Brady and Rogers versus Allen and Mahomes. I've heard like two things about it the whole time, and it's because tomorrow. like it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's out of nowhere. They're running out of the match. The match is running out of juice. I mean, it yeah, just, like the first the first one was great. First two were great. Now, like first one also was during like the height of the pandemic when there was no sports. So now it's yeah. like, am I gonna go watch a bunch of non pro golfers play mediocre golf or like watch actual athletes play their actual sport? They don't. I don't know something about the 
the way that it's filmed with the guys in the carts, like these guys are competing in actual competitors. They're not like all that focused on entertaining. So it does get a little dull because like them, they're not like they're just they're actually trying to beat each other. And the most entertaining part of the last couple has been like Charles Barkley talking shit. I will say when Charles Barkley was talking shit and Tom Brady hold out, that was fucking incredible. That hurts yeah. me to say. And like that was sick. It was something that played a lot better in the height of the pandemic than it has recently. Remember the boys were just watching in the uh, in the family room? Yeah. Oh, we were locked in. She uh it's she a texted, good event me. To bet on, she texted me last week. Oh really? Yeah. She um they said there was hang on, let me read it. She said, Hope all is well with you. My brother in law is at your game tonight and wanted to tell me how much they're enjoying the game. She goes, Oh, and I also have another ghost story from the compound to share. Actually, I have two of them. And I said, you know what? Good thing I'm not going back. That's Ooh. terrifying. Zach, speaking of ghost story, you know what we can no. talk about? You know what we can talk about? No, I'm only one episode in, dude. What are you relax. doing? You're not that busy. It's a I am. lie. Like, you tell me. How long was your bus ride to Columbus? Exactly. Two hours. That's two episodes. Boom. No, it's not. What and guys, what show are you guys talking about? Stranger, Stranger things. things. I'm the only one that matters. The fact you're one in is so just disrespectful to the show. It's great. I just finished it. No, because like, hear me out. It started out as like a fun, loving show. Like, oh my God, this no, is a great is. show. <laughs> oh, and like is now, what, like is Tarantino just doing this movie now? Like, what are we doing with all this shit? Shit gets crazy. Wait, it's, just wait. You've only seen one episode. Just you wait. That's what I'm saying. I don't like it. Like, ah, like I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no. It, what do they do? Ah. It scares the shit out of me. And I got a quick question about TV shows. Are you a Disney yes. Plus guy? Yes. Have you started watching the Kenobi series? No, I have not yet, but I've heard it's very good from my sources. Oh, my God. It is very good. Scott liked it. No, actual Tom, different sources. I can't. Tom, dive come off. on. Sorry. He's got on, Star Tom. Wars sources too. I do uh, have a Star Wars source. Let's let's get to the Sloan screen time. Let's talk about how much we like automated flushers and faucets. I couldn't go to the bathroom in Memphis. It stunk. Just held it the it whole time. Huh? I just held. I didn't go until we got back home. I'm really fortunate that I get to go and use the Sloan flusher every single day. That's see, like you're so lucky because I haven't. I haven't I haven't gone to the bathroom outside of Chicago and Arizona, you know. They're all over the place, so you'll see you'll sneaky see them in a in an airport or something. <laughs> my uh, brother sent we... my brother sent me a picture the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's something we will not ask people to send us on Twitter, a picture of no. their bathrooms. Uh Tom, let's we're all gonna go yesterday's screen time. Okay. Yesterday, Monday screen time. Oh, I did good. I, I think I have a chance Desert. to win for the first time, maybe ever. Four, four, thirteen. Ooh. Four, thirteen over the course of a whole day. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, I don't know what happened yesterday. I was just doing a lot of work. Feels really good about this, Dakota. Four thirty-six. That's cool. Zach. Four fifty-two. Yeah. Ooh. 256. Oh, the doubleheader killed me. I had me. two I the games yesterday. Oh. Wasn't a lot of time for the old phone. I'll tell you what, though. That's got to be like our best full day. You know, that's, like, that's a great full day. I think that combined between the four of us has to be an all-time low for 24 hours. Not hey, a and single it's still lower hour. than that one person who had like 21 hours of screen time that one day last year. <laughs> that person- People were tweeting at us their screen times, too. I saw a couple like 13s. I, I saw a lot of double. Hey, 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 hey. We're not discriminating because guess what? We've all been there. Okay. Yeah. No. No, we appreciate I've, the honesty. I've never reached double digits. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, okay, for sure, man. We appreciate You've the honesty from the fans, and we will continue Wednesday time. Wednesday, what is it? Wednesday screen times. Sure, yeah. Wednesday <laughs> Sloan screen time. Sure thing. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Why don't Can't we wait. do like yeah, a weekend? Yeah, yeah. It has an S in it, like a Saturday Sunday screen time. You want to do it on Saturday or Sunday? We can do it Saturday or Sunday. Sunday. That's Sunday. like. Because that's like a real screen time. You're not working. You're not doing much. Like, all right, let's see the, let's see the real behind. Do the you scenes. want me to tweet it on Monday so then people yes. will have their full day on Sunday? Yes, I want the Sunday Sloan screen time. 
All right. But okay. I have to tweet it on Monday so people have the full day. Yes. Okay. Like that. I'm in on it. Me too. Okay. Zach, are you excited? We're only a week away from seeing each other. Yikes. Wow. Oh, hey, no, because Yikes. you pissed me off. You pissed me off yesterday. Because I said I'm not bringing my clubs? Yeah, like, then don't come. I'm flying. Okay. Put him I on the fucking bags. trailer, dude. You think we're sending a trailer? How do you think it's going to get there? All of the weight stuff go that drives the day before. All oh. the weight room stuff. Yes. Oh. Shit, you're right. Hey, that's no cap. It goes the day before. So, I don't know. Throw it on there. All right, maybe I will, but not with that attitude. With that attitude, I won't. Don't, you, because you said you weren't anyway. I'll, I'll get a foursome. I'm going to figure out a way to get them there, and I'm going to do it, but we can't play on the off days, which stinks. Why? Can't, then when are we going to play? Well, because we're flying the off day. Oh. That's my point, is we're flying in on Monday, so what are we going to play before a game? I don't like to play the days of games, and I know so you don't Don't bring either. them. You're useless. You'll see, I'll that's see that's not my fault. I don't schedule the flight. I'll see you 60 feet, six inches away, man. Yeah, ear hole. It's coming. Again, weird. Yeah, I this cannot time, believe that people hurt. listen to this part of the episode. It's the best part if they don't. Because I'm going to hit Ian or Zach in the face. Again. Wow, you're going to hit Ian too? That's no, not Ian. I would never hit Ian. Ian's nice. Can you Zach's imagine mean. if you actually hit Zach now, how bad that's going to sound? For the second time. Yeah, he's care. already hit him. Don't care. First one hey, was Tom. with a slider. Tom, I think the uh, Tigers play at Yankee Stadium next week. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you can go to the game. They play Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh my God, eleven o'clock game, eleven thirty game on Sunday. It's Sunday. Ugh. It's disgusting. It's awful. That's rude. That's episode one twelve of the Comic Con podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Barsay, Rob. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>